Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day so far. So in today's video, we're just going to be making a super cute mini loaded envelope using some vellum paper. So the vellum paper that I'm using is from Michaels. I got it in a pack of 10 sheets and it was a while ago, so I can't quite remember how much it cost, but I think it was something like $4.99. And to make my envelope, I am just using my trusty 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. I love this punch board. It comes in handy for so many different projects. And my envelope measures three by four inches, and I am just rounding the top and bottom corners of the envelope because the two corners on the sides aren't going to be seen once I add all of the decoration to the envelope itself. And now I'm just going to fold up on all of my score lines. So when I was doing this, I accidentally made one a bit crooked and I had to go back and um, fix it a couple of times to even it out. But in the end, once I put all the decorations and embellishing on, you couldn't see it anyway. So it didn't really matter. And to um, secure my envelope together, I'm just using some double sided tape from Joann's. And I'm just cutting some little strips out and it holds really well. And then I'm going to be using my scoring tool to make sure that everything adheres nicely. And once I have my envelope all put together, I am going to move on to decorating it. So the collection I'm using is by Simple Stories and it is called Kissing Booth. And I think it's just about the cutest collection ever. I love all of the patterns in it. And I bought it off of scrapbook.com specifically for a 14 day advent calendar swap that I was a part of. And after making all the packages and decorating everything for that swap, I had some bits left over that I wanted to try to use up. So I thought what better way than to make some happy mail pieces. And these mini loaded envelopes are a great way to use scraps because they don't take too much paper and any little bits you have left over, you can totally use to decorate the cover of the envelope, if you will. So I chose this pretty um, floral pattern against the black background. I just really like how it popped. And um, I had a ton of stickers left over from the collection. So I'm just trying to use them up. I bought the sticker sheet pack off of scrapbook.com as well as the collection itself. And it had a lot of square stickers that I feel kind of awkward working with. I don't really know how to go about using them in my crafting. So I challenged myself to use them. And in the end, I decided on this longer sticker that says love with a super cute little floral heart in the center there. And then up in that left top corner, I'm just going to be making a little embellishment cluster to decorate it up a bit. So I'm just going to be doing that by adding a lot of different stickers and layering them up. So I'm using some little banner stickers and some tabs. And um, I really like this cupcake sticker. I think that not only is it super cute, but the red in it brings out the red everywhere else in the project because it is against a white background. So I'm going to be adding some heart stickers that are flat as well as some puffy heart stickers just to give it a bit more dimension and make some of the things pop a bit more. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun for this because I did realize when working with these puffy stickers that um, they didn't really stick well. So I don't know if I just got a bad batch or, um, or not, but I just wanted to use hot glue to make sure that they didn't fall off of the project. So now I'm going to remove that sticker that says love just so I can put a flower sticker behind it. So I love the florals in this collection. I think they are so pretty and um, I wish there was just a whole sheet of stickers that was just strictly the florals because I would use all of those up so fast. And now I'm just going to trim off the excess sticker bits that were poking out so they don't stick to anything. And I'm just going to add some more puffy stickers just to kind of liven the envelope up a bit more. So I think this bird sticker is absolutely adorable. 
and it does kind of blend in with the flowers there but I think it still looks really cute and then I'm going to be including that arrow sticker at the bottom and here I was trying to decide if I wanted to add anything to the center of the envelope um, I thought it looked a little bit empty but everything I tried just didn't seem to work so in the end I do leave the center of the envelope blank but I think um, once everything is stuffed into the envelope it looks perfect <laughs> so now I'm just going to add an XOXO sticker next to the bird um, and I think that the white and black against all the florals looks really pretty and then I'm also going to be adding one of those little sentiment hearts to the embellishment cluster on the left there um, just to again give it more dimension <laughs> so I think that one says be mine and again just using my hot glue to make sure everything sticks down and now I'm going to start adding stuff to the envelope itself so I'm going to start with this giant heart paper clip and I'm going to just add a tassel that I got from Tuesday morning to it and the tassel is pink so perfect for Valentine's Day and I had a little bit of trouble getting it on there because the leaf on the sticker kept uh, preventing it from sliding down but I eventually got it and I'm just going to hot glue um, that arrow sticker into place to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and um, then I'm going to start stuffing the envelope so I have these red doilies which are from Target last year and um, I also have this sheet of stickers that I cut down which is also from Target and then another little sheet of stickers all Valentine's Day themed of course and then I'm adding some handmade embellishments and I left my embellishments blank just so the recipient can decorate them up and use them however they want so I have some giant hearts layered up on some gold glitter paper and then I have some cute deer heads layered up on the same gold paper as well and now I'm taking a little arrow clip which is also from Target this year though and um I they had them in red and they also had them in black and I used a black one on my other mini loaded envelope so I'm using a red one on this one and I'm just clipping some gold sequin trim and some white holographic sequin trim into place on that and then i am just sticking in some little pins um like toothpick cupcake toppers and a little um stick heart from the dollar tree last year and then the last things i'm adding are some wood veneer pieces so those are the finished mini loaded envelopes i think they're so cute and so perfect for Valentine's Day, um, especially just to send out to your pen pals and some happy mail, um, either on their own or with some other goodies included. So I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.